Hi everyone, Susie here from Minnesota and I garden in zone 4 and today is going to be the first tour for 2021. It's March 28th. Not a whole lot's happening in my gardens, but I thought I'd just show you some things that are going on. I had potted up these containers in October with tulips and I have a storage unit outside of town. It's just metal, not heated, it definitely froze. And I just want to see if I could do that. And sometimes there's a lot of, you know, what you can and cannot do with gardening, but I thought I'd do a little experiment. This is the first container that is showing signs of life, and it's Mystic Van Eyck. It's E-I-J-K, if I'm saying that correctly. Very happy to see that. I watered them when I potted them up and then forgot about them. Or I shouldn't say forgot. I just left them be. I wanted them to be low maintenance, and then I brought them out here the beginning of March, and I have them on this pallet just to to help with drainage but also get them off that cold cement and uh, like I said not a lot happening I still have to get all of my Christmas decorations down yeah I am a little late I have had a very hectic work schedule I've only had one day off in 11 days and I have a long stretch again so my next day off will be um, Monday what is that 6th or 7th of April so yeah trying to fit everything in so in this area here have lots of tulips planted. I am seeing some signs of life right down there. Somewhere. Nope. Right there. I think I have about 200 in this area. This is the front of my house, and this only gets afternoon sun, so it definitely is a little bit colder. Just trying not to walk into the pole here. This is a new area that I did last year, if you're new to my channel, so I have lots of decisions I have to make on what I want to plant here. I only probably get about four hours of sun in the front. Yeah, more Christmas decorations. These shrubs look really good, though. They're going to need a trim at some point. I don't do any fall cleanup in my beds. All of my cleanup is in spring here. So I have lots to do. I would say in about a week, I'll be starting to work in here. Tomorrow it's supposed to be about 70 degrees and then three days after that in the 30s and 40s and a low of 21, so I still have time. This is lamium coming up here. Uh, hookra. So I do have lots of leaves. I will be raking all of the leaves off and then taking my lawnmower, mulching them up and then I will be reusing them at some point as a mulch or compost or for in my compost bins. And here, get a good look now because it will be covered up once the snow in the mountain takes over, but this is Pachysandra. I can't believe it's still hanging in there with the snow in the mountain, which is an absolute invasive thug. I really like the Pachysandra. But it's going to stay in here. I'm not going to chance on moving it and then bringing the snow in the mountain with. And again, for Minnesota, it's still a little bit early to be working out in the gardens. Just had some rain yesterday, so it's a little wet. Yep. I have my hat on and gloves. It's just a little chilly. Even for me, being a Minnesotan. cool. I had some work done and I thought for sure they trampled this, but look, that is my bleeding heart back there. I'm very happy to see that. And then, um, so because of the rain yesterday, I brought some pails out just to collect the water. I don't have my rain barrel out yet just because we are still talking lows and I don't want it to freeze and crack. 
I've already gone through one. I don't want to lose another. That does have to get brought in. There was ice on it this morning. And then this was another experiment with tulips. So this container stayed out in winter. So I potted this up and I just covered it with some leaves. And I mean, it had lots of snow on top of it. So that might've helped. But yeah, look at all the tulips coming up. So you know what, sometimes in Minnesota, it pays to try things too. It's like I said, a lot of the times it's, you can do this, you can't do that. And in gardening, I kind of like to try things. Like I said, I'm so happy about that. But on that note, we did have a really nice winter. Along with everyone else, we did have that uh, February cold spell. That's nothing new for Minnesota, but other people kind of experience a little bit of what we experience. But other than that, we were very nice. Cannot complain. I mean, even the snowfall. It's a mess. <laughs> like I said, this is just, these are my gardens. And um, I'll try and take you on along while I clean them up. It might get a little boring. Down here, there are signs of life and here. This is a hardy geranium. Oh, and I see some daylilies coming up in here somewhere. Right there. And then over here, what's green is, this is a type of lamium, but it's lamia strum. Super invasive. It's just, you can see it's taken over. I will control it when I need to. Sorry about the wind. No, why is it the wind always picks up when you do a tour? Looks like pulmonaria is coming up here. Looks really good. I had split a lot of these in late summer, early fall, so very happy to see that. Oh, you can definitely see more of the hardy draining here. That's massive. Like I said, I want to get out here and clean it up so bad, but with that cold spell coming, I'm just going to leave it for a little more protection. So yeah, so when I rake all the leaves off and I even, the debris from like the stems of my plants, I'll use my lawnmower, mulch it up, and then I'll probably put it on my raised beds here for the time being until the soil warms up. And then I'll, I'll use it as a mulch or add it to my compost bins. So nothing goes to waste here. Let's see. And okay, so I have a daffodil coming in down here, and I always get green growth. I never get blooms. So I've given up on daffodils. Everybody else can grow them, but I just struggle with daffodils. Which is too bad because they're so pretty. In this area, at some point. It has taken, Creeping Jenny has taken over a lot of it, so I'm going to have to get on top of that this year. Let's see. We'll go this way real quick. I don't want to make this too long because there's really not much to see. Look, more tulips. So I think whenever that cold spell comes, I'm just going to come out here and cover this with the little leaves. I know they're tulips and they could probably handle it, but... I really want to see some blooms this year. I couldn't believe it. It's, to me, it's a little early for in March. Usually it was about mid-April I would see some signs of life, but that just kind of tells you how our winter and spring have been. I am so looking forward to getting out and getting in my gardens. I just can't wait. 
and more. Sorry, my shadow's in the way. I do have some, I have some clematis planted in here and you can see there's a little, I'm hoping you can see it, a green growth in there. I have two different types, so I have to get in here and clean it up. One I bought from a local nursery, which is Nellie Moser, and then the other one I got online, and that is called Princess Kate. That one was pretty dinky when it came, so we'll see if it does anything. Lamb's ears. And then more tulips in here. I just worry about the squirrels digging. They usually are the ones that cause the most destruction. And then in here, I'm gonna have to cut the grass back a little bit. I don't fully cut it back until I see signs of growth, but I don't want it falling over on my alliums that are coming up over there, which is purple sensation. And they're doing super well, along with over there. And then this is where I have my winter sown jugs. No signs of life yet, but it's still a little early. Haven't been all that warm. And in here, these are all the cuttings I took of my hydrangeas. I think they'll I think they'll work. You can see there's some... I tugged on the stems and they were pretty well in there except for one. There's a little green growth down there. Again, I have this up on a pallet just to help with drainage and also get it off the cold cement. And then in here have lots of tulips. I'm not seeing anything in the front here. Oh, yep, there it is. Okay. And this is just an assorted mix along like the front ones. So it's, I just planted them. I don't know which ones are planted where, which is nice. I think there were what, three different kinds. So I'm the type of person that would have to plant it perfectly. It's nice that they were all assorted, and I didn't have to think on that. Can't wait. I want to start hardening off some of my um, perennials that I have growing indoors. I think I'll be able to start doing that after this cold spell, but... This vine right here is William Baffin Climbing Rose. That looks like it's doing really good. I'm just happy that the rabbits haven't chewed it off. You would think that the thorns would thwart them, but they don't. This one looks okay. This one was smaller than the other one. But I like the color of those canes. And you can see my roses down here. I have some buds. Yeah, last year the rabbits did a number on all of my roses where I had to pretty much cut them down to the crown of the plant, but they still pulled through. Oh, it's super cold. Feet are freezing and this mess here. This is my tree peony. So happy to start seeing some growth on this. Uh, it's somewhere right there. Oh, I can't wait. So yeah, so that's what my gardens look like now. I'm not too concerned. 
normally it's about the middle of April when I actually get into my gardens. The fact that I can get into them a little earlier this year is pretty cool. So yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed this pretty brown March tour and maybe and the next time I do a tour, hopefully things are looking a little bit differently. So hope you enjoy and bye for now.